A baby crane is alive tonight. There he is, thanks to a group of Wesley Chapel residents who came to his rescue. They say cars are hitting and killing the Sandhill cranes in their neighborhood all the time, and they're worried that it's a sign of just dwindling respect for wildlife, that people just don't care. Fox 13's Natalia Verdina spoke to those volunteers who are taking that little one in, nursing him back to health. I hope he makes it too, Natalia. What do they say about this problem? Well, Cynthia, I spoke to the director of Owl's Nest Sanctuary for Wildlife, and she says it is a problem. Their phone has been ringing off the hook. Residents calling to report injured sandhill cranes on the side of the roads. And while many cases don't end well, one baby crane, also referred to as a cult, is expected to survive thanks to residents who didn't give up. Their goal is to eat all day. They walk and eat. But today, this fuzzy, chirpy colt is resting. He's in panic. Just, I mean, really good condition, but very panicked. And who can blame him? He lost his mom and dad and was dodging cars fighting to stay alive. He's doing really well. Chris Porter runs Owl's Nest Wildlife Sanctuary in Odessa. Everybody knows what they're supposed to be in life, and honestly, I've always supposed to have been working with animals. She used to work as a zoologist for Bush Gardens. Now she runs this nonprofit that works closely with state authorities to rehabilitate animals that just need a little tender, loving care. It's a lot of love. Residents in Wesley Chapel know Porter well and reached out to her when they were trying to save this colt whose parents had been struck and killed by a car. Yeah, he does have swelling in that right foot. Dozens of community members took to Facebook to report the injured bird. Yep, Facebook was an awesome tool that day. Porter and her team of volunteers found the orphan crane and will be taking care of it until it can go back into the wild. Porter says these situations are far too common lately and hopes drivers are more careful when they pass by these friendly birds. She says it's unrealistic to expect them to move when a car is approaching. They're not going to. They're, they're a prairie, open land animal. They don't have a concept of cars, roads. Their mindset is to just keep walking, eating and walking. This little guy is expected to do just fine thanks to a group of concerned citizens that refuse to look the other way. Now, it will take time before the colt can be released back into the wild. Porter tells me the colt will be paired up with a buddy to learn survival skills that his parents were supposed to teach him. That process can take up to nine months. Cynthia? Yeah, you know, we just keep building and building and building in Florida, and the birds and the animals are there. We just need to slow down and give them a break, you know? Thanks, Natalia.